culture increases according to a continuous exponential growth model. Say there were 1800 to begin with and after two and a half hours we notice there are now 1997. Find the hourly growth parameter, also called an hourly growth rate parameter. Okay, this is a very famous uh, you know, growth formula. It's the PERT formula, we sometimes call it. And that stands for aggregate or total equals principal or beginning e to the r t. t is the time, p is beginning, a is end, and r is that hourly growth parameter. It's an, uh, a rate in business problems. It's usually an interest rate. Okay, so for our problem, we want to find the r, the hourly growth parameter. So we're going to plug in the given information. First off, the problem says that there were 1800 to begin with, so that's a beginning number. Then it says that there were 1997 at the end, so that would be the aggregate amount, the 1997. E is just a number. The R is the interest rate, or the growth rate, which we're looking for. And the T is the time, which is given right here, is 2.5 hours. So I'm going to put that in there as a 2.5. And now we're just simply in algebra land. So divide both sides by 1800. And we can see that 1997 over 1800 is equal to e to the 2.5 times r. I'm now going to take a logarithm on both sides. So 2.5 r equals ln of 1997 over 1800. And then I'm going to divide by 2.5. So r equals ln of 1997 over 1800 all divided by 2.5 okay so r equals that and I can't do that in my head so let's come over bring out our calculator we have ln of 1997 divided by 1800 divided by 2.5 and the calculator yields 0 0.0415. I'm going to change this into a percentage so I can state it more easily. So multiply by 100, 4.15 percent, 4.15 percent. So our final answer is 4.15 percent. Okay, why don't you pause the video and see if you can do this next one on your own. Suppose that the bacteria in a particular petri dish increases according to a continuous exponential growth model with a growth rate of 1.2 percent per hour. So it gives you the growth rate and now it's wondering about time. How long will it take to double? Well in this problem we don't know how much there is to begin with. So that means our beginning amount is not known. I'll have to call that P for whatever the beginning amount was. But if we want it to double, that means in doubling we want the aggregate to be two times p. So whatever we had to begin with, we need to be twice as large. Okay, e to the r. For r, we're going to use 0.012 because it has 1.2 percent, but we're going to put that as a decimal, as 0.012 times t. And then we're going to start to do some work. Divide the p off of both sides, so that way we have 2 equals e to the 0.012 times t. Let's take an ln of both sides, so we have ln of 2 equals 0.012 times t. Our goal is to isolate the t, so let's divide by 0.012. And once we divide by 0.012, that's going to isolate t by figuring out what ln of 2 divided by 0 0.012 is. So we want ln of 2, ln of 2 divided by 0 0.012, the interest rate or growth rate. And it looks like this comes out to be 57.76 rounded to two decimal places. So we'll give an answer of 57.76 day or uh, hours point seven six hours rounded to two decimal places anyway.